Hey y'all, if we haven't already met, hi, I'm Stacy. I am a paramedic and paramedic instructor, and I know with the beginning of the fall semester, so many of you paramedic students are in the thick of cardiology, and you may have even come across that pesky chapter about ectopic beats, but I tend to notice that there's a lot of confusion about ventricular trigeminy versus triplets and ventricular bigeminy versus couplets, so let's talk about it. Okay, so let's first break this down. A PVC is a premature ventricular contraction. So it's an ectopic beat coming from the ventricles of the heart. The ventricles of the heart are the big muscular portion of the heart. So since this is coming or these ectopic beats are coming from the ventricles of the heart, there are no P waves and the complexes themselves are very big and wide, okay? So ventricular trigeminy. Learn your prefixes and your suffixes. I'm always telling my class this. This will help you so much in the medical field. Trigeminy, so we know tri means three. Every third beat in trigeminy, you're gonna get a PVC. So you have PVC, normal impulse, with a P wave, QRS complex, T wave, another normal impulse, followed by a PVC. One impulse, two impulse, and a PVC equals trigeminy. All right, so what we see depicted here are three PVCs in a row, so three premature ventricular contractions in a row. This is a ventricular triplet, okay? The easy way that I remembered it, or I consider it easy whenever I was in medic school, to distinguish between trigeminy and triplets. Triplets are born together, so they stick together. So your PVCs are gonna be back to back. Couplets, couples, two, right? So you'll have two PVCs back to back. Whereas our trigeminy, a PVC every third beat, and our bigeminy, a PVC every second beat. And also don't forget, a ventricular triplet is also known as a salvo, and it's also known as a short run of VTAC. 